let's just start with the whole concept of the storefront, because I think that's a area where a lot of brands who even are pretty good at Amazon and they have premium A plus or they have really well built out image carousels or they have videos on their pages and they're doing video ads. A lot of them still don't have very good stores. And, uh, you know, it's, it's weird to me because sometimes I'll look at their store and then I'll go look at their website. And I'm like, but your website's gorgeous. <laughs> like, what's, what's going on with your Amazon store? And it could just be yeah. because the person who's responsible for the Amazon store didn't talk to the website person who knows. Um, but you really do want to think of your stores on Amazon the same way that you think of your website, just with a lot crappier tools. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the, the main challenge with the stores is you basically get squares and rectangles and various configurations and that's all you get for the store but the the whole concept of the store the thing that i like about the store is that it makes it possible to have a whole bunch of different benefits all in one on amazon first your whole product catalog is in one place to make it easy for someone who land on one item but they're like oh i love the brand i love the concept but maybe do they have something with uh, higher water? Do they have something with more storage space? Do they have something a little bit longer? Maybe it's a, it's a dress I like, but maybe I want to see if they have it in MIDI or in maxi length instead of the length that I'm looking at. So that's the first thing. You can show people your whole brand and what you're offering on the store. But a lot of people stop there and they don't do anything else with their store. So the next thing that it does is at the very top, um, you have two things that are built into the store. The first one is the follow button. And I'm a huge fan of that follow button. The more you can get people to follow you, the more um, promotions you can run, the more push notifications you get through the app, um, the more Amazon will push those products to the followers of the brand. So the more you can get people to follow you, the better. So the follow button, we always tell you to follow us. Hi, press the button. <laughs> Try to get them to, to sign up as a follower. And then right below that, if you're running a live, that's where that shows. Your, your live stream will show right there. And so those are the first two things that I think many people, um, you know, many brands on Amazon certainly miss those two things, like specifically getting people to try to follow and then using live. And then the other thing that I like to remind people of as a store, it is the landing page for about half of the ads that you can make on Amazon now. You can do store, um, storefront ads that land Fully on the store, so like store spotlight ads go straight to the store no matter where you click. Then there's product collections, video ads. Those ones will land on the store if someone clicks on the brand name um, or if they click on the picture versus one of the products that are also with the ad. And then you can also do sponsored display straight to a store now too. And so the third way that you want to think of your store, um, first is as a brand catalog. Second is as a way to reach your customers directly, to talk to your customers directly reach out to them directly as followers. And the third one is thinking of your storefront as a collection of advertising landing pages. And so when I'm thinking of it that way, what I'm really thinking about is who are my customer avatars, my buyer personas is what some people call them. Some people call them avatars, doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. Is on Amazon, who's buying my stuff? And how do they find my stuff? 